Hello everybody, Andrea here. I'm going to be showing you guys how I apply silver diamine fluoride in my practice. So I use Advantage Arrest by Oral Science. It's extremely cost effective. You only need one drop per tooth. Sometimes one drop can cover up to three teeth depending on the surface area. So I'm going to show you guys on my patient today, very helpful, and all of the products that I use to go along with it. So of course you need gloves, which you would have anyway, but silver diamine fluoride does stain. It stains the area, so be careful. Um, you'd be using a tray anyway, but don't just touch everything. Don't just, you know, cause you might not realize it, but it does stain surfaces, furniture, all of that. I have stained my compressor top a little bit. I don't know how I did it, but I must have touched it after I touched silver diamine fluoride somehow. And the stain doesn't come off for a while. I'm in fact, I'm still trying to get it off. So be careful, it does stain. It will stain your patient's cheek. If for some reason you're going to apply it and they move a little bit, it will stain. So just let parents know, let the patients know it does stain other areas. It's temporary, the stain will come off. If you work on kids a lot like I do, it's very common, no big deal that the child might move, but they will notice a stain afterwards. So what you need is a Dappen dish, a little cup, something that is disposable so you can just throw it out afterwards. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I throw this out because it's not good to just throw it in your garbage because it's going to stain other things. I actually put it inside a dirty glove and then throw it out so it doesn't stain anything. Staining is a big thing, so please be careful. What you need is a micro brush. So I'm going to show you guys two different types. You do not want this one. It's too big. You want the smaller one. Do you guys see the difference? I would use this for a fluoride varnish. This I would use for silver diamine fluoride because it's more concentrated. This again is for the overall area. This would be too big. You would get silver diamine fluoride everywhere. It needs to be very, very concentrated, localized to that area. Um, and you need some gauze, your saliva ejector, that type of thing, but that's pretty basic. So what I want you to make sure to tell parents is silver diamine fluoride or the patient, tell them that it is killing the cavity causing bacteria. This is how I explain it. So silver diamine fluoride kills cavity causing bacteria. So that bacteria hopefully won't spread. So when they go to the dental office, they might've heard before, oh, you have a couple watch areas. We're not gonna put a filling in yet, but we're gonna watch, wait and see. When I see patients, if I see a suspected area or a watch area, I don't wait and see. I know it's going to get bigger. So what I do to those watch areas is I apply silver diamine fluoride. So hopefully it doesn't get bigger. And I let them know for it to work the most effectively, I need to come back to reapply it in two weeks and then consistently every six months. But I would much rather have this than to get a filling. I put this on my own teeth. Yes, you have to apply it consistently, but you're getting your teeth cleaned anyway. So why not? let them know it does stain that cavity causing area a dark color. If it's not a cavity, if there's no bad bacteria, it's not going to stain. It does not stain the whole tooth, just the little area. Let your patients know that. As soon as I tell them it's going to stain the area, they automatically think, oh my god, my tooth is going to turn black. No, it just stains the little area kind of like this. That like little black part on the top. So it will be dark, but that means it is actively killing the bacteria. I do not put silver diamine fluoride on the front teeth because it will stain and nobody wants black spots on their front teeth. The back teeth, who cares? Nobody's going to see them anyway. So make sure to shake, shake, shake. When I'm explaining silver diamine fluoride or talking to my patient, I'm shaking it. So I do shake it for probably a good 30 seconds. I have noticed if you don't shake it well enough, it doesn't come out a light blue color. It's kind of like a black color. So you want to shake, shake, shake it. Okay, that is the key. And then what I do, of course, have your gloves on. Um, have, your, have your gloves on. I put it in this little cup 
one drop is all you need. I bend the micro brush a little bit for just extra, it's just easier to get at. If you bend them too much, it breaks and you have to get another one. So be careful, don't bend it too much. I put a drop in, you know what guys, I'll I will show you. Let me put on some gloves. <laughs> I wasn't planning on showing you, but why not? I wish I had a patient to do this for. Okay, so shake, shake, shake. I'm going to put a drop in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna be careful so I don't spill it all over the place. And then I'll show you guys. Recap it right away. You don't want it spilling. So can you guys see that little blue dot? That's all you need. And this can work for one tooth or up to three teeth, depending on the surface. Take your micro brush, obviously dip it in. Again, you guys, sorry, I'm just being careful because I don't want to get it everywhere. So it is gone. It's literally on the micro brush. See how it's kind of like a blue color. So what you do, and it's not going to show up here because obviously there's no cavity causing bacteria, but what you do, sorry guys, I wish it was more in focus. I'm probably going to do another video closer to, but you literally just, I'll show you guys on this empty tooth here. No, it's not really in focus, but darn. This is live. You guys can see I haven't done this before. So like on video, I, I do this many times, but just not on video. So I'm definitely going to do another video. I apologize. But what you want to do is you want to brush it on like this for a good 10 seconds. If you can, I count to 10 for my patient. And then that's literally it. They can eat, drink anything afterwards. What you don't want to do is do this because that's not concentrated, right? You need to get it right in there with your micro brush. This is probably going to stain everywhere. I don't really know. I haven't tried it on the type of dump before. You want to get it right in there for a good 10 seconds. That's it. If there's a lot of saliva, you want to suction off the saliva first, wipe it off with some gauze, whatever you want to do. But again, you guys, you want to get right in there concentrated. Not like this. You just want to get right to that spot where it's a cavity. Okay, I'm going to show you how I take off my gloves when I'm using silver diamine fluoride. I literally take off my glove like this. And then again, like this, I put it in the garbage that way. So, you know, nothing's going to stain. The stuff is crazy. Like it stains everywhere. I'm going to wipe the, the um, type of Dawn afterwards and really, really clean it. But I will take a better picture, you guys. I apologize. Um, I'll try to do a closer up video. But do you guys see how it has to be very concentrated on the tooth? I'll leave the link to the oral science video as well so you guys can see kind of how that's applied. And what I forgot to mention, which is almost the most important, is it tastes awful, okay? Kids never like the taste. They're probably going to maybe cry a little bit. They might try to move. If you can't get it in there for 10 seconds, that's okay. It's still going to work. But if you can, if your patient's cooperating, do that. But just get it in as quickly as you can. Even just touching it, it's going to work. But you do kind of want to rub it in a little bit and then you're good to go. Your patient can eat or drink afterwards. Tell them to rinse to get the taste out of there. It doesn't taste good. It's a very metallic taste but it's killing bacteria. It's not going to taste good. So I hope this helps you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you guys in the next one.